Seeking fam, this is your boy Kofi Che here today with a new video, and today's video is a Bible study. Like, I know you guys are probably like, this one, what is this about? Basically, what this is, is we're just going to be digging deeper into the Word. Like, I know we read the Bible, but we're really going to get deeper into what the Bible is really telling us. And today, God has given me a word of raw belief that God has given me a word. And I pray that it's a blessing to someone's life. But before we even get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for, first of all, waking us up. We thank you for giving us another try again moment. We thank you, Father God, for protecting us, our family, our friends, and everything else around us. Father God, we pray that as we get ready to listen to your word, Father, we pray that you will open our hearts, you will touch our hearts, you will touch our lives. And not only that we will receive this word for us, but it will be a blessing through us to other people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, now I know it's 2019. I know it's a new year. And everybody has goals. We all have certain blessings that we, we've been praying for. Now, don't get me wrong. I want you to make it. I want God to bless you. As a matter of fact, God wants to bless you. But most of us feel like we're at the place where God is not listening to us. Or you feel like you're at the place where you know God wants to bless you, but things are just not happening. You feel like you've tried everything, but your blessings are not really appearing. The word that I have for today is responding to the calling and activating your blessing. God wants you to activate your blessings. But in order for you to activate your blessings, you need to understand that there are certain principles that needs to be done, that needs to be touched. In order for you to get that blessing, in order for you to receive that promise, there need to be some kind of instructions that are followed for you to get there. And most of, most of, most of us, we tend to ignore those principles, we tend to ignore those, those instructions. And that's how you find yourself lost, hopeless, confused, you feel like you have no purpose, you feel like nothing is just working out and you're depressed, it's mainly because you have ignored those principles that God has set before you. Like, now I know you're probably looking at me like, okay, what principles is he talking about? And so before I even get down into the principles, we're going to dig into the word because all of this is about the word. And so today we're going to be getting our word from Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 4. And I'm reading from the NLT version. And it says, the Lord has said to Abram, leave your native country and your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. Verse 3, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham departed as the Lord had instructed him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. Like, I know you're probably looking at this like, what this got to do with everything? Like, when you read this, it's so simple. Like, you get the story. Like, God literally told Abraham to do something and he just went, whatever. God said he's going to make his name great. And the problem with a lot of us Christians is that normally we take the part that God want to tell us out and we take the part that we want to hear for ourselves. And so we will go into the word. We will skip verse one where God has given us the instructions and we will say, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make you famous. I will be, you will be a blessing to others. And it's not that God don't want to do those things, but it is wrong when you just pick and choose a place in the Bible to apply to your life. When God is calling you to apply every word to your life. You can't just say, God will make my name great. And I'm taking that and I'm blessed. I'm, I'm taking over my life and I bless my life for that. And it's going to happen 2019. Yes, he's going to make your name great. But there are some principles that you need to follow. What are the principles in order for you to activate your goals? First of all, you need to understand that there's you and there's God. Because verse 1, it says the Lord has said to Abraham. So clearly it makes us understand that there's the Lord and there's Abraham. There's the Lord and there's you. The second principle is God calls you. You need to understand that God calls you. You need to understand God is constantly calling you. And when God calls you, you need to listen. But you got to truly listen to what God is trying to tell you. The third one is God will give you instruction. That's the third principle. Is that God will give you instructions. How? I'll prove it to you. First of all, God says, the Lord has said to Abraham, we need to understand there's the Lord, there's Abraham. Leave your native country and your relatives and your father's family and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. So he literally gave Abraham an instruction. Now, if God gives you an instruction, what do you do next? The next thing you do is you respond to the instruction. You don't sit around when God tells you to do something and expect him to bless you. You can read all these Bible scriptures about your life, but if you don't respond to God's calling, you would never activate the blessing. You see Abraham literally in the Bible responding 
after God told him to go. He literally, it says, like, it says, verse 4, So Abraham departed as the Lord had instructed him. Like, now I know you're saying, how can I respond to God? Like, before we even get to how you can respond to God, I want you to understand. Let me make this practical. I grew up with my grandparents, right? Living with my grandfather and my grandmother. My grandfather was very calm. My grandmother was very loud. But my grandfather will always call me. He will call me. He will be very calm. He'll be like, Papaya. If you don't know, that's my God name. He'll be like, Papaya. My grandmother, on the other hand, will be like, Papaya! Now, one of the things I realized about both of them was that anytime they called me, they never gave instructions until I responded. And so what I want you to understand is the same thing with God. God would never give you an instruction unless you respond. Most of the time, it's the instruction that leads you to the thing that they're calling you for. It's the instructions that will lead you to the blessings. When my grandfather would say, oh, I need you to go and get money from this person so you can go and buy me this. If I don't follow the instructions, I would never be able to buy the thing that he was calling me to buy. And so it's the same thing with God. He's calling you to listen, respond, and so that he can give you the instructions. Abraham responded by moving. How can I respond to God? I got you. I got you. You can respond to God in so many ways. Through purity. Some of you, your blessings are not coming because God wants you to be pure. He don't want you going around having sex. He don't want you to go in around. He, he wants you to truly be pure. You can respond to him through obedience. You can respond to him through prayer. You can respond through serving. See, you know, so many of your blessings, most of the time, will be found through serving. You can serve in the church. You can serve people. You can serve in your community. You can serve in your family. You can serve every and anywhere. Next one, through intimacy. See, this is the big one for me. You can respond to God through having an intimate relationship with him. Some of us, we want to birth something out. But there's no way you're going to be able to birth something without having an intimacy. Unless you're Virgin Mary. I've never seen someone birth a baby without having an intimate time with someone in private. It's the same way with you is I know you want to birth that blessing. I know you want to birth these dreams. I know you want to birth all these ideas that you have. You want God to bless it. But you have got to have an intimate time with him. You got to communicate with him. First of all, you, you can't have an intimate time with someone. You can't meet someone and just say, hey, let's go have intimacy. It don't work like that. You first have to get to know the person. Speak to them constantly. Communicate. The only way you can communicate to God is through prayer. And as you pray, you read your Bible. You get to know Him. I just want you to understand this. That as bad as you want your blessings to be activated, if you do not follow the principles, if you do not respond to the call, if you do not move, God will not bless. If you do not move, you will not see that blessing that you're stressing over. And so, literally, this is the end of this Bible study. I hope that you were blessed by this. And we're going to be doing more of this when God leads me to. I'm thankful for y'all. And let me know in the comment section what you learned today. And share this with your friends and family. I love y'all. CK fam, don't forget to be blessed. Be yourself and be happy. Peace. We out. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself.